Yo, this the one, man. Yo, I booked us this studio for the whole night, man. I believe in you, man. All you got to do is put them rhymes together how you put them rhymes together, man. And, and we finna get the whole family out the hood, man. Yeah. So, uh, so is you ready? Yo, uh, we're, the, we're the producer. Yo, man. Drop that beat, man. And, and let my little man show you how we really do it, man. Spit that fire, youngin. A few moments later. Let me tell you something, you might got more cash than me But you ain't got the skills to eat a nigga's ass like me Yo, what's up? Why y'all, why y'all cut the beat, man? I was, I was really finna go in Why y'all cut the beat? Yo, big bro That rap stank. I didn't, hey man, I didn't pay all this money for you to come in here and, and, and rap about munching on some dude yeeks. You got on Hoochie Daddy shorts? This studio session is over, bro. You done, man. Hey, no. Don't cut that beat on. Don't cut it on. Put the headphones down, bro. You're not going to make it. No, I'm going to let you finish your last little freaky song, man. And maybe you can upload that to Pornhub or something. Zest Monster. And if you really want to show off, we can get it on live in front of the cameras on your own sitcom. I'll let you... Get the f*** up out the studio, man. You, you finna do what? You finna get it on live in front of the camera? OnlyFans, man? Nah. Freak monster. Rap ain't for you, man. I can't be a part of this, bro. Hey, man. Producer. Blow up the studio. Yeah. Blow it up. Put fire everywhere. No, nah, we not going to leave. We all going to stay in here and go down with the song. Do that. What up, though, man? You already know the Vin Ives. Whenever you see Unk behind Unk, we got to talk about this Madon 23, man. And I got to give y'all some good gameplay to go right behind it. A lot of y'all was loving the video from yesterday, uh, addressing the QB abilities. A lot of y'all who don't got the beta, even some who still got the beta, wanted to know about defense. So that's what we're going to address in this video, man. They they have put, for what I've seen, there were two new defensive abilities in the game. And they're both from the cornerback position, which is arguably the uh, best defense. I mean, the most important defensive position in the game this year, man. Because we all, year after year, bro, we be pissed off that, you know what I'm saying? The zones ain't as reactive. This year... The zones feel, they feel a, a thousand times better. I will plan the beta today, you know what I'm saying? Seeing what works in the trio and what I might need to scrap. I ran an RPO and uh, the linebacker picked off the RPO in like a purple or some, some wild shit like that and took it to the crib. So I was happy as hell to see it because I won't be using a ton of linebackers in coverage besides... um. I'm going to show you a couple today. I'm going to uh, Levante David who has Lurker. You know what I'm saying? They also have um, a brand new ability that uh, helps with contested catches against running backs that I think going to be dumb nice too. But let's start here with – let's start with I, what I think is going to be probably my favorite team to use and also probably going to be the best defensive team in Madden, especially if these pass leads keep doing their thing. And that's the uh, what the hell? San Diego Superchargers. So, starting off, uh, we got J.C. Jackson who has a uh, who has abilities. He does not have a superstar X factor, but he does have abilities, man. And his abilities are fire as hell. He has the best cornerback combo I feel like you can have. He has acro and pick artists, and the one common denominator I noticed. Uh, damn near every cornerback 
with an uh, who has a, a ability slots. One of those slots is a hundred uh, is um, acrobat, and I could just tell you I play uh, quite a few games. Acro be acroing, them niggas be flipping out here, bro. They be doing a thing with the nastics. So acro is really good um, from what I've seen this year, and even without acro, um, corners react to the ball more. Like I said, bro, it's still the beta. So, you know what I'm saying? Just take everything as a positive, but with a small grain of salt, man, because the game going to change. It's going to be a different game when it drops, and then it's going to be a different game in two weeks when they put the first patches out. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get about five, six versions of Madden throughout the year, if not more. But let's get back to this man, J.C. Jackson, bro. So he has Acro, he has Pick Artist, and then... um. He has a really good ability that I like. I want to say this might be, I don't know if this is in place of one step because I don't remember if I've seen any corners with one step, but it's called outside shade. So if you have in it, and I, I, it may be uh, in replace of one step, but if you have any receiver, I mean, anybody, any corner with this ability manned up, he has better reaction on any routes outside the numbers. So that's going to be your um, your crossing routes, your corner routes, you know what I'm saying? The me basically the meta routes. So if you had so if you if you throw any of one of these on a corner and then you man him up, he going to do a really good job of bagging up those routes. So probably unless your receiver probably got like a route tech or a, uh, any one of those good route running cams, which not a lot of receivers on the Madon have. So he has out, outside shade with acro with pick artist. So if he's shaded outside, man, you know, and manned up on that guy, he going to animate on the ball with that acro. That outside shade going to allow him to play it tougher. And then that pick artist is pretty much going to guarantee you that interception, hopefully, because you dropped a shit ton of picks this year with pick artist. But if you get up, you're going to have that unlimited stamina. To take that boy to the crazy app. So, J.C. Jackson, for sure, is going to be fire as hell. Second uh, secondary player uh, on this team that I want to address is, um, who else was it? Der I think it was Derwin James Jr., yeah. So, Derwin James, also, he has, uh, I want to say he, his superstar is Reinforcement. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to be putting uh, putting him up here. I don't, shut up. He has unfakeable, which is cool. Like you ain't gonna be getting down on Doggy Bone crazy with the uh, jukes and all that. He gonna he gonna put you on your ass. He ain't playing no games with you. He has um, I think this might be. I don't remember this last year. You lumberjack. That's another ability that I think is gonna be kind of fire. You know what I'm saying? They don't uh, they don't allow broken tackles and they uh cause more fumbles when they uh when they hit you low. And I feel like this ability right here is going to go very, very well with the game tackle animation that is in Madden uh, this uh, upcoming year. You already know if you get caught in them tackle battles and this nigga come out of nowhere and he hits stick low, really good chance you're going to get that ball up. So you definitely want to be smart when you engage in the tackle battles, man. Because if there's abilities out here now, where you definitely going to get at, you're going to cause that uh, fumble. EA, I, I, I think for the most part, kind of keyed in on these uh, running back wheel routes because the, um, there's abilities that uh, help with catching a ball uh, against running backs uh, for linebackers. So if you do throw a, a low ball wheel in traffic, that, that linebacker is going to play that uh, running back wheel and he's going to win a majority of of those uh, catch animations against running back wheels. Then you got the gang tackling. Now you got the lumberjack where you can hit low and cause fumbles. So they definitely, definitely keyed in this year on making sure the defense is super reactive. And not only that, Derwin James has flat zone KO, which is personally one of my favorite abilities in the game, bro. So any, so if you're trying to get your checky down on, if you still one of them niggas who trying to force these wheel routes, Derwin over there. He don't care about nothing. Shut up. He he animating. 
he and he hit sticking and he he lumberjacking and, and getting straight to it. So those two abilities from the uh, secondary position, I feel like those is gonna be fire, especially in regs, man, where you don't have a lot of ability, so it doesn't have the same um, balance that Mutt has, where you can create and piece together your abilities uh, based off your play style. So the Chargers is gonna be a tough team to score against, especially because these niggas is different coming off the edge. At both their outside linebackers, you got Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack, and you can put you can you can leave them at linebacker if you running wide, uh, or you can sub them in on the D line. You know what I'm saying? So you will not be doing any running to the outside on uh, the Chargers, even with a three man rush. You're not doing too much against these Chargers, bro. So Bosa has swim club, no outsiders, and edge threat. Edge threat, from what I have seen in the beta, might be one of the best abilities in the game, bro, because they already shed. They shed like crazy, man. I'm pretty sure they won't be shedding as fast when the game drops, but right now they shedding in less than three seconds. If you send five, it's like a nano. Them niggas is coming. Pause. But, yeah, so edge threat, we already know what that is. No outsiders. It contains all. It insta sheds all outside run. Your stretches. So all you stretch bums going to be in trouble because not only you got Joey Bosa on that one side, but then on the opposite side, you got Khalil Mack, who has no outsiders and edge threat also. And accompanying Khalil Mack is strip specialist as his primary ability. And then if he gets activated, he has unstoppable force. So it's really not much you doing against these boys you know what I'm saying? When it comes uh, defensively, it's, it's you're going to be living in Struggleville, USA population, you, bro. Because the Chargers are like that on defense. So I hope you, uh, and, if, and if the nigga got a, a gap shoot for the inside runs, GG's in the chat, man. You're going to have to air that thing out, bro. Because that team defensively is going to be insane. They definitely going to be a top five team this year and now we can head over to the best uh defensive player arguably in the history of the game let me know how y'all feel about it aaron donnell thank god von miller left this team bro thank god literally you you have to play aaron donnell at defensive tackle let's run aaron donnell down to y'all man el toro inside stuff basically out no outsiders it's like outside stuff so el toro Inside stuff, outside stuff, under pressure. You already can't block this nigga. So if you put him at defensive tackle, if somebody runs an inside zone, a dive, he's insta-shedding. If you run a stretch, he's insta-shedding. If you go to pass, he has a, a, a edge threat. So he's coming off that edge. No, he has, I'm sorry, not edge threat, but El Toro. So he's coming around. He power move bullying niggas, and if he gets to you, he has under pressure, bro. Aaron Donnell is going to dominate Madden. Luckily, his team ain't cracked like that. Uh, I don't know why they didn't get Stafford, you know what I'm saying, the throwing ability, but luckily for us, they didn't. His team, like, they are very good defensive team still, but this nigga is different, bro. Like, he's going to cause hell and of course you got uh Jalen ramsey who has bottleneck he has acro and pick artist also um i can't remember what his last ability was bro i'm definitely gonna flash it across the screen but um yeah so the rams are definitely gonna be another one of the good teams in the game this year um most of your d-line defensive tackle guys um a lot of them have under pressure this year you know, you have, of course you got your inside run stuff, um, but a lot of them have under pressure. So that's something you're going to have to watch out for too when a lot of those shares come up the middle, which is like getting to you in two seconds. Um, it's going to, you have to make a decision now to hold that ball and take that sack. Because if they shed up that middle and then you try to throw that uh, pass and that under pressure lights up on you, bro, it's a probably you, more than likely you throwing a pick. And when and with no escape artists and 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 defense is being more reactive and contained, 
being a bit more containy. You're going to struggle a lot uh, if you uh, don't make smart decisions with that ball. So this year, I feel like it's going to be imperative that you uh, hit check downs, that you don't get so uh, run happy that you try to escape and not well, escape out the pocket and throw on a run. Like You're really going to have to make some reads. No, it's still not real football yet, nigga, because we still spamming the uh, one-play touchdowns and the crossers. The crossers still work. You just have to block. A, f a, f a few people, bro, to give yourself time to throw that crosser. So this year feels like the defense definitely has the edge as far as how the uh, games uh, play. You know what I'm saying? Uh, defense can dictate a little bit more. It's still offense is still going to be good. You know what I'm saying? But it won't be like pulling teeth to get a stop unless you suck at the game. And if, then you still going to struggle to get stops. I highlighted um, a linebacker that I really liked, you know what I'm saying, and uh, some more corners. Next, we go going to the Ravens. Of course, they got, uh, what's Doggy Bone, Calais Campbell. He has um, inside run stuff, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know what I'm saying, like I said, most DTs don't have any new abilities. So, I really didn't go in depth. I'm trying to go again, go to people uh, in the game who really going to have a crazy effect. We all know inside run stuff is good, but if I double team you and then I can run the I can run the ball. I can I can just double team your run stuff. Or if I have a secure protector, I can put him at the center and that'll in fact cancel out your inside run stuff so I can do my damage. So uh I, I feel like we've already pretty much we know how to counter those inside run stuffs. But there are abilities that we have not seen in the game that I pretty much want to key in. Marlon Humphrey has one of those abilities. He has short route KO, deep route KO, and inside shade. So essentially, he's a man corner to the T. None of his abilities are made for him to be in zone. So if you run in with the Ravens and you have him in deep thirds and you have him playing a lot of zone, you cannot get mad if he does not make plays for you. It is your fault because you are not utilizing him correctly. So in order for Marlin to be the best Marlin is 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 pretty much man defense, man. So he uh he has uh one of the new abilities I was talking about inside shade. Opposite of um outside shade, if you man him up, he's gonna be playing any of those inside routes amazingly. So uh any of your posts across the middle of the field, in routes, you know what I'm saying? Um, what else? He might, maybe he'll play a crosser if you if somebody tried to throw it early enough. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so outside shade is another one of those abilities you want to be aware of. Use it correctly, bro. I because I know one of y'all gonna piss me off. You man, he not animating on the outside shade. I'll be putting him in the outside quarter. Outside, outside shade, outside quarter. It should work. Like no, stupid. It's not. It's not gonna work. Did you not watch my video? I'm trying to tell you. Hey, that's why you 14 to 82. Next, we got um another new ability. Marshawn Lattimore gets something called on the ball. So um it's players with this ability are like less likely to be fooled by wide receiver runoffs. Like I don't think it's something that's game changing, but it's a new ability. So I got to let y'all know about it. And he has deep route KO. So um, another man, the man corner. You know what I'm saying? Utilize these dudes correctly, please. Because you can't be mad. So if I got Marshawn Lattimore or I got Humphreys, I'm probably going to be playing them in a slot. I'm not going to be playing them outside if, I'm, if I like to run zone. I'm going to play them in a slot where I can cross man him or – man him up on other receivers to take away those guys and then I replace whatever zone that I would have had him in. You know what I'm saying? That's how I would think that you would want to use these guys with these heavy man abilities. Unless you want to run just straight press man, you know what I'm saying, all across the field, that's on you, Doggy Bone. But if you are a zone player, you still can use these guys. You just got to be smart in how you do it, man. And I know a lot of y'all struggle with that part of the game. Being a thinker man. You got to be a thinker man on the Madame, man. 
You can't be out here dirt. Oh, shit. I almost crossed the crazy line, bro. Woo! <laughs> My bad, players. Oh, man. I got to have filter more, bro. I got to be more filtered in my conversations with y'all, for real. Because I almost I almost jumped out there, doggy bone, didn't I? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, man. So, uh, <laughs> the best linebacker, uh, well, the best two linebackers will be, uh, for y'all who still want to utilize linebackers, it's going to be Fred Warner and Levante David. Of course, we got Billy Wagg on the Rams. But he has the same abilities, tackle supreme, enforcer. You know what I'm saying? He does not have uh, any of the newer abilities that I feel like are super, super good for linebackers, which uh, is the, uh, lurker. And then this new ability called outmatched. This is the ability I was telling you about that allows you to play uh, or get more interceptions on contested running back catches. And for all of us who know, contested running back catches include wheel routes so if you got a wide receiver he does not have to be uh manned up these are zone this is a zone ability so if you if your linebacker has outmatch and you throw him in a purple or whatever if they throw that wheel route if they try to low ball that wheel route he will animate on that and uh if it come if it's a bang bang play between him and and a running back, he will get that, famo. He will snag that. So I like the fact that EA actually put a consorted effort into allowing the linebacker to be a part of the game again, bro. I'm still not going back to 4-3 under. They ain't that damn good. But you can put a linebacker like a Fred Warner and Levante David in the zone and know that with that lurker and that outmatch, they're going to be able to play a lot better. Um, you can actually put Fred Warner in hook curls, which actually play the run really well. Uh, a lot of y'all don't know. A shaded down hook curl will play a wheel route, and especially with him and Levante David having an out. It's a, a few other linebackers who have outmatched. Um, but... Fred Warner is your best candidate because he had mid-zone KO with outmatched and lurker. So he's going to animate on wheel routes a lot. So you can't, you kind of got to get EA a dub for that, bro. They know how pissed off we was about these uh, wheel routes. And you can still throw wheel routes. You can't spam them. They're not like stupid OP that in the beta, but you can still throw them. So they even they addressed it. They gave us ability to kind of counteract that. So bravo, bravo. But these are a lot of the anime. Uh, these are a lot of the uh, abilities that I seen whilst playing, whilst doing my due diligence as a content creator. Shut your mouth. That I feel like gonna be really good for the Reds community. Much gonna be completely different. You know what I'm saying? Because we have a vast array of abilities to pick from, and we can kind of build our team how we how we see fit with the, with the abilities. But on regs, these abilities are going to be uh, probably the best ones that I've uh, highlighted, especially the, ooh, that's a nasty lurker. Oh, my goodness. Especially the inside and the outside shade for you guys, bro. But I'm going to be concluding the video right there. Y'all let me know what other type of abilities or what other type of uh, things do y'all want me to address in the next video. I appreciate y'all for rocking. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay, and I'm out, Doggy Bone. Peace.